Learn how to use textures in 3D material and light settings, along with the adjustment layers to create a chip and paint wood text effect. Hello everyone, I hope you all feel happy today. My name is Marko Kozokar and I'm an elite Invato market and Invato elements author. In today's video I'm going to show you how to create a 3D chip and painted wood text effect in Adobe Photoshop, originally written by Rose. If you're looking for a ready-made 3D text effects, let me show you the Invato elements. Here you can get unlimited downloads of design assets, templates, fonts and so much more. And you can cancel your subscription anytime. For creating the 3D text effect in a quicker way, you can just type 3D text effect in the search bar and you'll find plenty of odd ones, graphic templates and fonts that will make this work much easier for you. After you start the Photoshop, go to File, New to create a new file and set the width to 1000 pixels, height to 750 pixels and set the color code to C2, C2, C2. Then go to Window, Character to bring up the character window. Here set the font to Insani Burger with Cheese. Font size to 250 pixels and tracking to 50. Now choose the horizontal type tool, click anywhere inside the canvas and type Wood. I'm just going to close down the character window now. Choose the Move tool, press Ctrl N your keyboard to make a selection of the canvas and choose Align Vertical and Horizontal Centers to center the text. Then press Ctrl D to deselect the selection. Now go to Type and choose Convert to Shape. Then go to 3D and choose New 3D Extrusion from selected path. In the Properties panel, set the Texture Mapping to Tile and the Extrusion Depth to 35 pixels. Then click on the Cap icon and set the Bevel Width to 1% and Contour to Half Round. Now select the front inflation material and control click on the front bevel and extrusion materials to select them all. Then click on the diffuse texture icon and choose replace texture. Select this wood painted texture from the link and choose open. Set the bump to 50% and click on its folder icon and here choose the texture that you previously used. Now select only the front inflation material Click on the Diffuse Texture icon again and choose Edit UV Properties. Set the VY Offset to 0%, UX Offset to 16.80%, VY Tile to 1 and UX Tile to 1.75. Repeat the same for the front bevel material. Now select the text mesh, click on the coordinates icon and set the exhortation angle to 90 degrees. Adjust the camera Go to 3D and choose Move Object to Ground Plane. Then adjust the camera again if needed and go to 3D and choose Split Extrusion. Now using the Move tool, position the letters as you like. Once you have positioned the letters, 
adjust the UV properties of the extrusion material for each letter. Now choose the Rectangle tool and click and drag to draw the rectangle larger than the canvas. Then name this layer Ground Plane. Go to 3D and choose New 3D Extrusion from Selected Path. Then, set the extrusion depth to 1 pixel. Now click on the coordinates icon and set the exhortation angle to 90 degrees. Select the current view, click on the camera icon and set the view to the name of the text mesh. Now in the Layers panel, control click on the text 3D layer to select both 3D layers. Then go to 3D and choose Merge 3D layers. In the 3D panel, select the Ground Plane Mesh. Adjust its position and adjust the camera so there are no empty spaces around the ground plane. I'm going to save this view and name it Custom View. Now select the ground plane front inflation material. Click on the diffuse texture icon and choose Replace Texture. Select the wood plank texture from the link and choose Open. Set the bump to 15%. Click on its folder icon and select the wood plank texture. Now readjust the ground plane position if there is a visible texture edge. Now we are going to adjust the lighting. Select the Infinite Light 1 and set the intensity to 100% and Shadow Softness to 30%. Click on the coordinates icon and set the X rotation angle to 153.4 degrees, Y rotation angle to 42.4 degrees and Z rotation angle to minus 26.3 degrees. Now click on the bulb icon and choose New Spotlight. Then click on the Spotlight icon and set the intensity to 35%. Uncheck the Shadow option and set the cone to 93.9 degrees. Check the Light Falloff option and set the Hotspot to 47 degrees, Outer to 3800 pixels and Inner 
to 666 pixels. Now position the spotlight as you like. Select the environment, click on the IBL texture icon, and choose Replace Texture. Select the interior photo from the link, and choose Open. Then, set the intensity to 20%, and shadow's opacity to 30%. Now, before rendering the result, make any additional changes if you like. Go to 3D and choose Render 3D Layer. Now we are going to add the adjustment layers. Select the Layers panel, click on this icon over here, and choose Brightness and Contrast. Then set the contrast to 35. Click on the same icon again, and this time choose Cures. Select the red channel, click here to add a point. I set input to 143 and output to 133. Now select the green channel, click here to add a point, set input to 177 and output to 173. Select the blue channel, click here to add a point, and set input to 165 and output to 156. Click on this icon once more and choose the levels. Set the shadow input level to 19 and set the midtone input level to 0 0.85. Now press Ctrl, Alt, Shift, and D keys on your keyboard to make a screenshot. Name this layer High Pass. Then go to Filter and choose Convert to Smart Filters. Go to Filter again, Other, and choose High Pass. Leave the radius to 10 pixels as default and choose OK. Change the blending mode of this layer to Soft Light and set the opacity to 35%. Now we are going to add the Grunge texture. So go to File, Open, select the texture from the link and choose Open. Using the Move tool, click anywhere inside the canvas and drag the texture to our original file. Position it so it covers the design. You can press Ctrl A on your keyboard to make the selection of the canvas and choose Align Vertical and Horizontal Centers to center the texture. Press Ctrl D to deselect the selection. Then go to Edit, Transform and choose Rotate. Set the angle to minus 90 degrees. Now change the blending mode of this layer to Soft Light and set the opacity to 30%. Click on this icon over here and choose Hue and Saturation to create a new Hue and Saturation adjustment layer. Then set the saturation to 50. Right click on this layer and choose Create Clipping Mask. 
Here is our final result. I hope you understood everything. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Marco and thank you for watching.